Good evening, Madison Scouts. Mike Ayango here. We're in Springfield, Missouri, June 18th, 1990. I'll be doing your visual field tape and scoring for you this evening. Excellent condition on the field. Very easy to read. Uh, the AstroTurf will highlight a lot of the technique things that you've been working on. Be able to read those very easily and uh, shouldn't have any problem in that regard. Also being the first show out for, for me and early season for you, I'll just try to concentrate on some of the fundamentals and some of the basics and uh, let me know if I'm getting a little bit too picky on some of those things. I think at this point in the season it's probably best for, for both of us just to really see where you're at and uh, try to evaluate that and uh, we'll be seeing you a couple more times this, uh, this summer so uh, look forward to seeing the progress you make from this evening onward. I'd like to wish you and your group the best of luck for 1990 and uh, for your performance this evening. I'll get back to you when you're ready to begin. Okay, Madison, we're ready to go. I'm going to be uh, doing a double tape, so if some things sound a little awkward sometimes, it's probably me fiddling around with the tape recorders. Um, I'm starting on side number two, which is stage left, approximately the 38-yard uh, line. Looking first evaluation into color guard and horn players. So we'll see what happens here. Good luck. Have a good show. First thing notice is a strong stylistic uh, approach here for the color guard. Good timing as far as a lot of the very abrupt moves. Nice kick, good height on that, good extension. Need to do some work as far as just uh, really projecting up to the audience. I know that's uh, not really a field type comment, but uh, from down here it's easier to read. Now I'm pushed out of position to read the horn line. And I don't know if I want to go through here with these guys doing all this kind of jazz. The, with the uh, stools. So. Trying to read through the horns here. Looks like we're doing a fairly good job, but not really in a high velocity type situation with the mellophone uh, group on the outside. Good refined stylistic considerations, the lower body percussion. Watch the change in direction, snares. We, we lost some people in that particular move coming back front field. Behind the baritones, now crossing the 50-yard line. Good upper body orientation. Nice and consistent all the way down the line. Inconsistent as far as the heel placement on the field. Change in tempo there was fairly well controlled. But as we move toward the 50, we're not really locking in our tempos. Moving in towards the uh, 50 again. Some really odd things happening with some of the feet placement on the field. It's as if we've got a couple different stylistic... Uh, interpretations going at the same time. Moving back towards the 50 now, I'm on side one looking at Sopranos coming across. Directional change, we had some fanning in the Sopranos, we have some people that are unsure of changes yet. Look at the form as far as Sopranos, right on the 50 there, collapsed in towards the, the middle, the intervals are not consistent. Moving around the outside of the Contras, not consistent as far as the step size coming off of that halt. So we had some shifting. It's recovering nicely, moving around the outside of the bases. Base drummers out of step and facing the last, out of step and phasing the last two. And quite a bit on the outside here. I'd like to be more on the inside. Nice up and a step off, but out of step and phasing and that cha change in tempo, the baritones that were right behind the tom players. Out of step and phasing in this particular station, I can feel the tempo or the uh, pulse variations there, the polyphonic rhythm. Okay, I'm in position for a nice color guard to read here. We'll stay right here. Watch the interval relationships. You're doing a fairly good job as far as uh, projecting again up to the box as far as just the moves are concerned. Good strength as far as the overall uh, control of the implement and the stylistic considerations, but just the pure timing considerations and the form considerations through that need to be uh, worked on. Behind the uh, backstepping brass now coming up the 35 yard line. More concerned about where the color guard was for that particular section. In too close to read here. See the shifting happening here in the Sopranos as you're coming forward. We're not all moving together on the change in direction. And 
And on the halt, you can just a second to uh, evaluate this. Take a look at some of the detail things on the halt. We have a situation where we can define that, I think, a little bit uh, more cleanly when you've got the opportunity. Okay, not going to the sheet too much, but uh, overall, I think pretty much where uh, you want to be at this point in the season. Good strength in most sections as far as the lower box is concerned, upper box still some some shifting, some problems. The things are, are not major in problem at this point, although the out of step and phasing, especially after a tempo change or some of those things are definitely a concern. In position front field, now to evaluate the color guard. Side number two. Watch the timing turns. I assume that should be together. Reading across the field to side number one. Again, watch the timing as far as that's concerned. I'd like to know how you, uh, how you teach uh, the timing at, at your slower tempos. Uh, I just out of curiosity's sake, if you're teaching it strictly to the music or if you're breaking it down as far as counts are concerned, that type of thing. Now, I'm way out front. I'm not in a good position to do a lot of field evaluations here. I'm moving into the baritone section here. Watch the upper body orientation. Not strong here. Guy coming down the 15-yard uh, line, uh, baritone in particular. Doing a nice job as far as the uh, foot placement, that, that little change, the little juke step there as far as the change in tempo. It's, uh, not being handled well. Got the really uh, sophisticated uh, musical rhythms going underneath that really are probably causing some problems as far as the overall orientation to the field. Being able to march at the uh, the uh, simultaneous responsibility, there is uh, something that's going to be need to need to be worked on, if I can say that. You know, the second tape recorder is really a pain in the butt to try to concentrate and really give a good evaluation. But I want to have a tape of my own so I can listen to what's going on. Sorry, I'm out of position for the rifle work. Looking at snares, nicely defined, good articulation of that form to the particular end. Nicely done on the cross, cross field. Okay, now let's see what we can pick up as far as uh, Silk's concern on side number one, back field. Watch the orientation to form is not strong back here. Also, interval spreads, change in direction is not well defined, not articulated as a whole form. Skips and that type of thing that are put in for the extra uh, choreography. They're there, but they're not timed precisely. Again, you know, there's one guy that sticks out here. He's right exactly on the 35-yard line. He's a baritone. He has a different style as far as his foot placement on the field from everybody else. I picked him up earlier in the show when I was saying I was picking up two different styles, and he's the guy I picked it up again. I want to talk to him about that. Miss the rifle sequence. I'm now down front and side number one. Not good on the turns, Silks, as far as the turn timing. You can see the velocity. Appreciate that. I know you can do better on the run as just far as stylistically is concerned. Moving in towards the midfield area. 50 yard line. Good orientation, upper body. Excellent job through here, French horn players. Nicely done. Moving with the snares, some fanning, some pushing on the outside of the snares. Changes in orientation there, not changes in tempo cause that. Shifting across the 50, somewhat sequentially, not in timing. The intervals here are not good. Sopranos, the velocity is humongous. It's a very uh, demanding as far as coming across there. Form articulation as far as the soprano line moving back to the 50, not too well done. But again, velocity is definitely going to have an art uh, situation there for evaluation. I can see where that is going to be a bear to learn that. You've got a wicked brass part to, to worry about, and you're, I don't know what your tempo marking is on that, but it's fast. Okay, let's just go with rifles on side number one for a minute. Stylistically, nicely done as far as the backstepping. Change in tempo is good. Final set. 
fairly well controlled as far as intervals. We've got one guy that's really huffing and puffing out here. Watch the rifle angles. You just a little picky thing, but you can see that the the angles that they're in your hand, not so much to the side, but as they're rotated within their wrist. Uh, just a difference that opportunity to evaluate that. Turn timing on the dance is not real strong. A little juke step. You know, just some s simple timing things. I'm sure that will clear themselves up as they go as you go through the season. Good moving as far as an ensemble of their rifles to front field area. That was nicely done. Outside of the fanning here, the Contra is a little bit too much on the outside. Again, the same thing here as far as the fanning of the uh, Melophone players are about the 40-yard line. Moving back into about the 40-yard uh, line side one behind the Contras. Again, step size differences, some differences in style now as far as the how far we drop the hips for the back stepping is concerned. Looking behind the snares again, see what happens here. Intervals, it's not a straight line. Intervals are not strong through the snare section either. Bass drummers were kind of jammed into each other there. Change in direction. Baritones can be better handled from an articulation standpoint. Nice change in direction and as far as the tempo change is concerned as well. Right in front of the mellophones as you can hear. Again, we need to really get into a position where we can evaluate some of that. And I don't know your program that well right now, but watching silks. Basic responsibilities were fairly well handled there. Again, we, I know you can do better as far as just the overall timing is concerned on that. <laughs> Company front here, we, I think we need to lock down intervals a little bit as we're coming forward. Nice change in direction, change in the tempo here. <laughs> All right, I like that. Moving around to pick up Silk's backfield. You know, I think what's happening with a lot of the Silk things is what's bothering me is the foot placement on the field. You know, you do a lot with the choreography and the Silk moves are, are kind of there, they're kind of not, but when we combine the, the, the actual foot placement, you've got the white... Uh, white shoes to pick up the evaluation as far as timing is concerned we can see the feet are not go coming down together not just be putting they are not being put down together also I'm sure that that would have some effect as far as just the timing of the silks are concerned uh, because if they're off with the timing with the marching they're probably off with the timing of the silks and the turns as well uh, a lot of meat there to the program as far as the, the overall is concerned uh, Opportunities for further scoring, obviously, that uh, at this point in the season, you're pretty much where I would expect you to be. Uh, stronger lower box than upper box. A lot of fuzzy, we kind of that, what is fuzzy? You know, but uh, a lot of fuzzy things happening yet where they're not locking in. I think it has to do with step size. We're not refined enough to that point yet where we know where the exact directional changes are, things that we can understand uh, for this point in the season, obviously. Let me see if I have some uh, further comments. I'll go to the sheet and get back to you. I didn't write any comments on the sheet during uh, the program, something I need to work on, but also I had the uh, second tape recorder, so if you can come prepared with some uh, questions or at least a recap of your concerns or questions, uh, that would be helpful for me. Okay, Madison, just a quick recap here. If I have a chance to go over the scores <coughs> and uh, where we see the scoring happening. In the excellent subcaption, uh, pretty much field orientation things. The velocity obviously has an impact here. Uh, timing turns as an ensemble, or as an entire core is a concern. I shouldn't say ensemble, but uh, also the uh, concerns here, some out of step and phasing on tempo changes, and some obviously they're impacting on where there are more demands being placed on the players, where there's some content level that, that dictates that they be really uh, concentrating fully on that and some hesitation or anticipation.